Have you ever struggled with noise, pops, clicks, or processing errors in your recordings? Let me know in the comments. Maybe you only noticed after recording, which really sucks. Well, what did you do to try and fix it? Did it have you chasing your tail, searching for new gear to buy? Or worst of all, did it cause you to get discouraged and give up on recording your music? What if you could fix all of this within your digital audio workstation? Well, today we're gonna to talk about one way to fix these artifacts right inside your DAW. You can significantly reduce those processing errors and better manage latency by learning how to properly set up your DAW for recording. In this video, you'll learn practical techniques to minimize latency, maximize processing power, and ensure a smooth session for recording music. This will not only improve your workflow by giving you smoother recording sessions, the clearer recordings will also allow for high quality mixes. Once you have your finished mixes, you can begin to think about how you wanna release your music. Which brings us to the sponsor of today's video, DistroKid. DistroKid makes music distribution fun and easy with unlimited uploads and artists keep 100% of their royalties and earnings. Over a million artists rely on DistroKid to get their music onto Spotify, Apple Music, and all other major streaming services. And now, DistroKid services are more accessible than ever with the new DistroKid app available for iOS and Android. With the DistroKid app, you can upload your songs, add lyrics and song credits, check your streaming stats. You can also see your DistroKid bank, get notified when you've earned royalties, and withdraw cash straight from the app. You can download the DistroKid app on the App Store or the Google Play Store. And if you haven't already, sign up using the link in the description to get 7% off your first year subscription with DistroKid. One of the simplest and most effective ways to reduce those pops and clicks in your audio recording is to adjust the buffer size in your DAW. By dialing in your buffer size, you can optimize the balance between latency and system stability to enhance your overall recording experience. A buffer size refers to the amount of audio data temporarily stored in a buffer memory before it's sent to the digital to analog converter for playback. It's a crucial parameter in digital audio because it has a direct connection to the amount of processing power and latency in your system. When you're recording or producing music on a computer, your audio interface and DAW handle the audio processing tasks. These tasks include recording audio inputs, applying effects, routing multiple tracks, and playing back audio. However, these tasks require computational resources, and there can be delays or interruptions due to various factors like your CPU processing time, your hard disk speed, and the efficiency of audio drivers. Sometimes these interruptions can cause artifacts that show up as clicks and pops in your recording, and buffering is a technique used to mitigate these issues. Here's how it works and the simple step that you need to take to correct it. When you're recording audio, the incoming signal from microphones or instruments is first stored in the buffer before it's processed by the software. This ensures that even if there's momentary delays in processing, no audio data is lost. Similarly, during playback, audio data is stored in the buffer before it's sent to the audio interface for conversion to analog signals and playback through the speakers or headphones. The buffer size determines the amount of time it takes for audio data to travel through the system. A smaller buffer size means less delay, but requires more CPU power because the system needs to process audio data more frequently. Conversely, a larger buffer size means more delay, but less CPU usage. So here is the one thing you need to do. Increase your buffer size to meet the demand of your computer. This gives your computer more time to process your audio, which can help prevent errors caused by insufficient processing. This provides a buffer of extra time for your system to handle tasks, reducing the likelihood of glitches during recording. Now this advice may seem counterintuitive because decreasing the buffer size can reduce latency and provide a more responsive recording environment. However, it's all about that balance between low latency and stability to avoid introducing artifacts into the recording. I remember bringing in a recording client to my first home studio. I was using an old laptop and I set up for recording with an extremely low buffer size. And after the first take, the client remarked on this clicking sound and asked if it had been recorded. Well, it had. So I poked around a bit in the DAW and I ended up fixing the problem by increasing the buffer size a little bit. And I found a sweet spot with enough capacity to record clean audio while also keeping the latency low. Now I believe this happened for a couple reasons. 
One, I had been used to recording in high-end studios with analog gear and dedicated converters and a better computer than I was using. And number two, I had brought those settings at a 96K sample rate to my own computer. And my computer just couldn't handle processing all of that information with such a short buffer time. So here's a table that shows the latency occurring using various buffer sizes at three different sample rates. At a higher sample rate of 96 kilohertz, a larger buffer size is needed for the same amount of audio data to be processed within the same time frame as a lower buffer size at 44.1. And this goes to show that there is no standard buffer size for recording. It's all dependent on your computer's processing power. By experimenting with different buffer sizes and finding the optimal settings for your specific setup, you can significantly improve the quality of your recordings and minimize the chance of unwanted artifacts. Are you ready to transform your recordings into polished mix? Contact me today. We'll discuss your project and together we can craft something extraordinary. Email me now about mixing your songs so that you can focus on creating your best possible music. Whether you're a new artist or a seasoned musician, I'm here to bring out the best in your sound. Thank you for watching and happy tracking. Cause I need some patience. Patience to be. To just